So I'm starting a new challenge. It's called 50 songs in 50 days. It's just what it sounds like. I'm gonna try to write 50 songs in 50 days. Hopefully that's gonna be one song every day, but I can imagine there's gonna be days where I'm gonna miss and then I'm gonna have to write a couple in a day. This whole thing was inspired by a guy called Joe Gilder. Shout out to Joe, I saw you do this years ago on your channel, on your socials, and I've always wanted to try it. So I'm actually on day five right now, and I'm just about finished my fifth song, and I've already learned a ton just in five days of doing this. It's definitely gonna be an exercise in how quickly I can get an idea out, because what I wanna do is I wanna write a full song and record a demo so that there's something more than just the words on the page. And that process of A, getting the lyrics, the melody and the chords written and then recording it quickly is gonna really, really challenge me. Naturally, I want to spend a lot of time tweaking things and making things sound perfect, but that's not what this is about. This is about getting the ideas out of my head onto the session as quickly as possible. It's a crazy thing to try to do, but I'm really excited about it and I'm excited about what I'll have at the end of the day. Maybe the start of a new solo project. Maybe some stuff I could pass on to other artists. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, I'm excited about the prospects of it and yeah, I'll try to share a little bit about the journey along the way. So I'm on day 29 of the 50 songs in 50 days challenge and I just finished writing song number 22. So that means I'm seven songs behind, I'm at the end of week four and I'm exactly one week's worth of songs behind. So I'm a little past the halfway point and I just wanted to share some thoughts and experiences I've had so far with you. For starters, it's been pretty difficult. I kind of knew that going in. I kind of thought it would be a pretty big and pretty difficult challenge, especially to balance writing a song every day with my client work, with making videos, with all the other stuff I have going on in my life. Going through this and learning how to balance um, songwriting and all my other work is, is a good challenge and really is pushing me to be more efficient with my time and to really knock this stuff out. I feel like I've gotten in a pretty good groove this week with it. I've been able to write the songs a little faster and still have plenty of time left over for all of my client work. Um, so I feel like I'm finally getting into a good groove, but you know, I'm a month into it. So I'm, I'm glad I'm at that point, but it's taken a while. Yeah, if you're gonna take on this challenge, just know it's almost as much about time management as it is about creativity and songwriting. It really will force you to get quick with your songwriting, but also to manage your time well, which is, they're both really helpful skills to have. It's been really helpful to not overthink things, which is part of why I wanted to do it. I wanted to just write songs, not think too much about it, and just have the act of finishing be the goal, have the act of just getting the song out there, down on the page, onto the Logic session, that's the main goal every day. And honestly, some of the songs I'm not crazy about. And I knew that going in, writing 50 songs, not all of them are gonna be great. I like some of them a whole lot. I think some of them are pretty average and I think some of them are pretty terrible. So that that's kinda, kinda where I'm at with it right now. But I had to go through that process. I had to write that song. I had to get that idea out of my system, onto the page and realize, hey, that wasn't really that good of an idea. Okay, on to the next one. So that's part of this process too, is to get the bad ones out of my system so I can get to the good ones. Just a little bit about my process for it. I, uh, I'm not writing all of these songs completely from scratch every day, and that was never really my intent. So just generally with songwriting with me, like I'll have ideas for lyrics, for melodies, stuff on guitar, whatever just like randomly all the time. And I always try to write that stuff down. I have a note in my phone notes called lyrics. Just whenever I think of lyrics, I write them in there. I'm big on the voice memo app on my phone, recording stuff when I have ideas. 
And part of the reason I wanted to do this challenge was to take a bunch of those ideas and finally make them into songs. I have had so many ideas, so many ideas for verses, ideas for choruses, half finished songs, just stuff that I've been collecting honestly for like years at this point that I just really wanted to finish, wanted to make into songs and see what I could create with them. All right, that's enough. I've rambled enough for today. I'm gonna check in one or two more times throughout the process and I'll definitely do a wrap up video when it's all over, let you know how I did and then hopefully start sharing some of these songs with everybody. Until next time, I'm gonna get back to writing. Peace. All right, so I thought I'd share a little bit more about my songwriting process today. What I'm working on today is where I'm just trying to write a song from scratch, just trying to come up with something completely new and something that's fully formed in terms of chords, melody, lyrics, and song structure. To start, uh, all I did was come up with something on guitar that I thought was cool. And now I'm just gonna record the scratch guitar and we're gonna go from there. So after I have the scratch guitar down, I'm gonna go through and just listen to the song with the mic on in front of me and just record any melodies that come to my head. It's uh, gonna be a lot of jumbled mess, a lot of hums and oohs and dahs and blahs, just so I can uh, start to form some ideas. So once I have the melody passes down, I'm gonna go through and listen and kind of comp different melodies together, stuff that I like, and see if there are any lyrical ideas in there. A lot of times when I do these scratch melody tracks, there'll be either certain syllables that I latch onto or sometimes certain words will just come out of my mouth while I'm singing the scratch melodies. And that can kind of help to start formulate an idea for lyrics. I have no idea what the song is gonna be about yet or what any of the lyrics are gonna be, but I kind of try to let the melody guide me towards the right lyrics. All right, so I think I finally fleshed out the lyrics as best I can for now. So my next step is just gonna be to record the scratch vocal. I'm gonna try to just go straight through the entire song and yeah, we'll see how we get on. Running fast, running from the sky, we'll find a quiet place to do nothing. All right, that's a scratch vocal. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much done with this song. I, uh, I like it okay, I think. It's kind of got like a Bruce Springsteen meets Poison kind of vibe. I don't know. I don't really know what I think about it. I don't love it. I know that. I think it's okay. Maybe not great, though. But, uh, it's a song. It's done. That's the whole deal with 50 songs in 50 days. You just gotta power through. You gotta finish them. That's the goal. It's not about being perfect. It's about finishing a song every day. And I gotta do another one today because I'm still a little behind. So that's, uh, that's my process, or at least one of my processes for writing songs. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. And yeah, I gotta keep writing because we got a lot more to do in the next two weeks. All right, so we're into the last week of this crazy project. And I still have a lot of songs to write. I got to write four today and two more every day for the rest of the week to meet the goal of 50 by Friday. So I got one pretty much done. I'm about to record it. And then I got to do three more today. Uh, so it's going to be a crazy week. I got to do that and a lot of other work. So it's going to be wild, but we're here for it. Let's do this thing. Let go. It's way too late. And I'm not feeling great. Hey, baby, say something. In the morning, will we? I will run into the night. I just need some solitude. Oh, I forgot the melody. <laughs> I will know the place to go. A connection with the unknown. It's a knowing in your bones that you'll be 
All right, that's it. We did it. 50 songs in 50 days is complete. My initial overwhelming feeling is that I'm super stoked it's over and I don't have to write any more songs right now. It's been really difficult, probably more difficult than I thought when I set out on this journey 50 days ago, but I'm still kind of in the moment of it all. I need to take some time away, just digest it all, process my thoughts, and I'll come back to you guys with my conclusions, what I gleaned from this, what I would do differently, all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, right now, I'm going to go live in the woods for five days and not think about writing songs because, man, it's been a challenge. But we're done. We did it. 50 songs in 50 days. Let's go. All right, conclusion time. So it's been about two weeks since I finished the 50 songs in 50 days project. I've had time to step away to kind of digest everything and reflect. And honestly, it's pretty funny today watching back through this footage because I'm super hyped and excited in the first video when I'm first starting. And then my mood noticeably sours as we go on throughout the weeks. And uh, yeah, I hit a low point there, probably a little over halfway in. I was really not feeling it. And then by the end, by the last video, I'm super stoked again and super proud of myself for finishing it. So yeah, it was quite a journey. Um, I still think my biggest takeaway is that it's a super difficult challenge. So fair warning to anybody who wants to do it. It is really, really hard, but I'm glad I did it. And I think the number one thing that it taught me is how I like to write songs and how I feel like I get the best songs out of myself. And unfortunately or fortunately for this project, it is not writing to a time crunch. That is not my skill at all. I absolutely hated that part of it and I felt like I didn't have enough time to get the best out of myself and that I was just writing things that I knew were bad, that I wasn't pleased with, but I just had to write them because I had to get it done. And, you know, it gave me a whole new respect for professional songwriters, for the people who go out there every day and this is their job. They have to write a song that day, they're getting a session in, they're writing a song start to finish. I just have so much respect for all of you. It's such a hard thing to do. It's so hard to stay motivated and stay creative on that grind. And so if you're a professional songwriter and you're watching this, leave a comment below. You're awesome. Tell me how you do it. Cause I just, I can't. Yeah. I think I learned that the way I like to write songs is to kind of do it more of a slow burn over time. I like to, come up with ideas as they hit me and then work those into songs as it feels natural for me. Uh, that's how I wrote my album and that's kind of how I plan to write songs for my own solo stuff going forward. I really didn't like forcing it. I really liked it to come naturally and sometimes songs come super easy and sometimes they come really slowly. But uh, embracing that natural process is uh, where I'm at with songwriting right now. And I kind of knew that going into this, but this, this project really, really affirmed that for me. And so that's what I'm gonna take from this moving forward. Will I ever do it again? Honestly, probably not. I'm really glad I did it once. I'm really proud of myself for finishing it, but yeah. I don't think I'm gonna be trying to write 50 songs in 50 days anytime soon. What would I do differently if I could do it all over again? Uh, honestly, I would just stay on top of the schedule better. I really uh, let things get loose there and I didn't do a lot of writing on the weekends. And then yeah, by the end I was writing four songs in a day and it was crazy and it was super stressful and it was like really freaking me out. So yeah, I would just stay on top of the schedule of one song per day better if I could do it again. But yeah, that's part of the learning process too. figuring out how to time manage, figuring out how to fit this in around everything else. And yeah, it was really tough, but I'm glad I did it and figured it out and got it done in the end, right at the end, last day, wrote two songs to finish it out. So yeah, that was my experience with 50 songs in 50 days. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes. Look at it, little vlog action. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to see more things like this, hit the notification bell, do all those good things, and I'll see you at the studio next time. Thanks.